in pieces. Come on, let's grab the regalia and split. Piece of cake, huh? <laughs> this part is. Inadvertent though it was, we dealt the Empire a crushing blow today. The Marshal will be pleased to hear of this. Pretty sweet busting up that base. <gasps> bust a base. I like the sound of that for this sort of thing. Uh, there's a base, we go in and bust it up. Bust a base. Whatever, I'm calling it that. You don't have to. I won't. Seems a bit flippant. Why not go for something a little more epic? Because I thought of it first. So that's the name. Bust a base. Ah, oh, guys? Long has it been, Noctis. Bravis. You receive the storm's blessing, and yet you know nothing of the consequences. Watch it. Be still, all of you. Not good. Heir to a crown befitting no other. Witness his splendor and glory. All hail the chosen king. Awful high and mighty for an Imperial rat, serving the enemy to hunt down Luna. I do not serve, I command! The King's Sworn Shield. You better believe it. A weak shield protects naught. Hey! Wanna go? Let's do it! Should the Chosen fall, that too is fate. I'd say that's far enough. A hand, Highness. Not from you. Oh, but I'm here to help. And how is that? By taking the army away. You expect us to believe that? When next we meet, it'll be across the seas. Just so happens we have business of our own with the tutelary deity, don't we? Fare thee well, your majesty. And safe travels. You guys know that guy? Ravus Nox Fleuray, first son of Tenebrae, and elder brother to Lady Luna Freyo. At long last, the Imperial blockades of Disgaean roadways have been removed. The Imperial Army has also demolished all related facilities erected around the region. The provisional government of Insomnia anticipates increased traffic congestion along most local highways and encourages all citizens to refrain from any unnecessary travel for the time being. So help me figure this out. That was Luna's brother? The High Commander himself. Wartime makes for quick promotions. Even a son of Tenebrae can rise to the top. But why would he want to lead their army? Who cares? Certainly formidable enough on his own. Ugh. If Ravis wants power, I'll give him a taste. Oh, buddy. What's wrong? I let you down. I never made it to Kayem. The Empire came while you were gone. None of us said a word about Noct. They just showed up and then... <sighs> Poor Jared. What do you mean? What happened to Jared? There was nothing we could do! Hmm? 
I can't let her go it alone, after everything that went down. It'll be a squeeze in the car, but just for a while. Shall we, then? Yeah, I don't want to keep Sid and Cindy waiting. They're fixing up the boat as we speak. We ought to thank them. Actually, Jared's the one we ought to thank. Yeah. He really thought of everything. For ya. Thanks. Ready to roll? Roll? Let's get this show on the road. Let's hit it. Sure. Looking at the regalia really reminds me of home. It sure doesn't look like any of the cars you see around here. And it's a lot roomier, too. I can't imagine trying to cram five people, including Gladi, into one of those things. Have you ever ridden in one? Can't say we have. There was barely enough room for our luggage. Thank goodness you guys could give me a lift. Think the others made it to Kayam all right? I suppose we'll find out when we get there. Check it out. See that? That's the Rock of Ravito. I'm like 90% sure. Not 100. You almost know your stuff. All thanks to Jared. <laughs> Thank you for driving, Ignis. Pleasure. Are you the only one that drives? I can drive. And so can I. It's not like Iggy's the only one who can drive. He's just the only one we can trust. Wow, are they that bad? Not bad at all, right? Right. But there's no way the big guy's taking any chances with his little sister in the car.
I got some bad news, guys! Oh, great. Another floating fortress. Let's pull over. Uh, knocked. Relax. We've got this. Taking matters into hand? Delivering justice for Jared. And for Talca, too. Iris, I'll need you to wait here. All right. <clears throat> Careful, knocked. Only fools rush in. I suggest we review our intelligence and devise a plan. Be safe. I'll be here waiting. You're heading back out? Okay, good luck. Thanks for the ride. Ah, thanks, buddy. to it. So, what's our plan? Find the base commander and take him into custody. Targeting metal men will yield little in the way of reconnaissance, but bones bend easily. We'll split into two groups of two. Prompto and Gladio will generate a diversion. Oh yeah, making a scene's what I do best. Noct, are you prepared? Operation to catch a commander is go. The insolence of that up-jumped mercenary. And there is still no word. This cannot be borne. Such behavior besmirches his Radiance's good name. That's our target. Let's follow him. Seize him on my signal. Stay hidden till then. What is that Chancellor playing at? I'm no man's fool. He sent Highwind to watch me. She and I meet wherever I go. Claims to trust her as a person. <sighs> Hollow words from the mind behind the Magitek.
I may have acted in haste with that impudent steward back in Lestalem, but my mission remains clear. And I'll be damned if that mercenary gets her grubby hands on the prince before Caligo Aldor. I'll give Highwind one last chance to respond. Stand guard here. If the Commodore arrives, send her through. Now's your chance, Noct. Close in from behind. And remember, we need him alive. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, you're in fine form. Keep it up. Looks like they've set to work. Our last caught him off the base. You regroup with the others. Guess it's time to let loose. Glad to see you lot were successful. Does that mean you weren't? I placed our captive into the hunter's custody, but I've just been informed he's fled. He lives to die another day, and I'll gladly help him with that.
Okay, pretty boy. <laughs> Let's see what you can do. Got a tough one on my hands. Let's see what you can do. Are we doomed? Yeah. Pretty sure we're doomed. No one you got Huh? Yeah. End of the line. Is it that time already? What time? Quitting time. Sorry, but this girl doesn't work after hours. I could, but there wouldn't be a single gill in it for me. Hmm. We should play again sometime, pretty boy. <sighs> Who the hell was she? I'm still worried about Iris. I imagine she's fine. But we shouldn't keep her waiting. You're back! Did you kick their asses? Oh yeah. All in a day's work. Hey, mind if I hang in your guys' room for a bit? Good morning! Hey. What's up? <sighs> back at ya. Yeah. And away we go. I could have gone another round. Given her prowess, you should be glad you didn't. Yeah. The Loki guy was nothing compared to her. Though we may not have fared so well without the Marshal. Think things would have gone differently if he were here now? Well, she offered to play again. Maybe we'll get the chance to find out. Are you guys excited to visit Altisha or what? I guess. I'm so jealous. We're not going on vacation. Oh, yeah. You're right. Here is? Something wrong? What? No, I'm fine. I I'm not jealous. I just had a lot of fun hanging out with you guys. But that'll all be in the past once we hit Kayam. What are you talking about? We can hang out anytime, right? Yeah. So, you're the one doing all the cooking. More or less. Gladi, don't you help? <laughs> Uh, on occasion. What occasion? I do my part. I always set the table. That's some arrangement you guys have here. This the place? Sure is. Thanks for the lift, Ignis. My pleasure. <sighs> Can't wait to see my buddy Talcott. We need to replenish our supply of curatives. Gotcha.
there. That's it. What's up, Iggy? I've come up with a new recipe. <laughs> Can't wait to try it. Whoa, pretty impressive lighthouse. What say we head on up? Ought to be a nice view, if a bit blustery. What's up? Knew it was y'all. Recognize the purr of that engine anywhere. Whew, you know your stuff. Thanks for the ride. It was fun. How's the boat? Papa's tinkering away. Reckon he'll be tinkering for some time. Trouble at sea. Seen her share by the looks of her. Some parts we can fix, others need replacing. An overhaul. Don't y'all worry. Papa ain't going nowhere till the job's done. Parts won't fetch themselves, though. Was kind of hoping y'all wouldn't mind helping out with that. We're at your disposal. To tell the truth, we already got a couple hands on deck. Dustin and Monica. Those two have been real swell. Managed to gather just about everything we need. You can depend on the Crown's Guard. Trouble is, they ain't had much luck finding a certain something by the name of Mithril. Apparently the stuff's hard to come by around these parts. At least according to the little fella from the city. Talca? You betcha. Sharp as a tack, that one. Could tell y'all more about the stuff than I could. We'll be sure to ask. Papa's down on the dock. Now, if y'all excuse me, I'm gonna grab my tools and ski daddle. Got a garage to look after. Prince Noctis! Hey! Our house is over here! Right this way! I think Miss Cindy might have told you already, but she needs a very special kind of ore called Mithril to fix the boat. Remember the waterfall? I read in Grandpa's notebook. There's some ruins near a lake just north of there. It said you'll find Mithril inside. About that lake, pretty sure he was talking about the Vesper Pool. I asked Monica to look into it, and she told me the road leading there's under Imperial Lockdown. You'll want to be prepared for anything. So, how's that coming along? Yeah, just give us a second. Uh, okay. I'll be inside then. So, yeah. Gonna have to ask you to handle this boat business without me. Say what? 
Got some business of my own to deal with. Do your thing. Not like we could stop you anyway. You know me too well. Well, see you around, guys. The waterfall cave was right around here. That means the lake should be somewhere north of here. Be wary, though. When we go, the Empire seems to follow. Wait. What happened to under Imperial lockdown? They all but turned the key and left the gates open for us. As if awaiting our arrival. And if anyone's waiting for us? I bet it's that guy. Chancellor Rizunia. Can't complain, as long as he lets us in. Who's to say he'll let us out? Not to mention we're a man down. Would that the Marshal were with us. Oh yeah. Whatever happened to that guy? As I understand it, he's put his tomb raiding on hold to help the hunters take care of some troublesome beasts. No rest for the immortal. Oh. Gentlemen, what a pleasant surprise. Ugh, told you he'd be waiting. With my Imperial friends, no less. Splendid. But fear not, I'll put in a good word. Well, come along then. Don't stray too far, lest you get left behind. And surely, you'd rather avoid unnecessary scuffles, seeing as you're now a trio. Oh dear, touchy subject. One we won't discuss with you. Then let's discuss why you're here. Hmm, it can't be archaeology. Mithril, perhaps? This guy's reading our thoughts. Mithril, it's a precious resource, you see. We can't just let anyone get their hands on it. But you'll help us get ours on it, right? <gasps> I never said that! Of course you didn't. Where is the fun in that? I thought you'd rather dig it up yourselves. Fear not, I'll be but a moment. A moment doing what? Beats me. Hmm. All clear. Go ahead. Alas, the ever wary military. They'll not abide visitors left unattended. I must prevail upon you to accept an escort. I've seen to everything. So, you're the new recruits they sent over for special training. Nice cover, runaway prince.
Thanks. Oh, come on. <sighs> At ease, recruits. There's nothing in it for this ex-mercenary to turn you in. Let's get this show on the road. Show? Forgot about your training? Well, I'm being paid to escort you. Just watch yourselves in there. I trust you'll be civil. Commodore Aranea Highwind, I leave them to you. Search until sundown won't do you any good. If you're looking to get inside, you're gonna have to wait. Hold down the fort. You got it, Lady A. What kind of place was this? Any idea, Ignis? None. Gee, I wonder what happened to the locals. Why not head inside and look for them? Not seeing a way in. Not at this time of day, at least. There's a way in. I can smell it. The Empire sniffed it out ages ago. Wait till nightfall, shortcake. It's open. As good as an invite. Then let's take it. Let's do it. Aren't we eager? Those guys your friends or something? You appeared to be on good terms. Ah, oh, man. How far does this go? Oh, oh finally. I thought it never. Uh-huh. Uh, who left the lights on? Maybe the owners are still home. No. I doubt we can expect a warm welcome. Indeed. Stay sharp. You think it's an ambush? Perhaps. <laughs> yeah! Anybody know if there's a bathroom around here? Nothing of note here. Just a load of nothing. Prayers. It's time. I'll say I'm amazed. What can I say? Gotcha! Well, that's that. Hey, watch it! My bad. Let's go! Hmm. Maybe this way? Well, this place has seen better days. So basically, it could uh, fall on our heads without warning. Yeah, so watch your step. Yep. Let's do this. Okay. Hey! Everyone. Good. How about you? Just chipper. Ah, beautiful beyond words. Oh, that is pretty neat. <gasps> Look up. Oh, that's the water's surface. Wait, what? 
does this mean we're underwater? Whoa, there's even fish. The hell is this place? Huh, can we truly be submerged? Uh, company! Above us. Yeah. Say your prayers. Try this. It's time. Hey, Amos, instructions. Knock. Watch out. Far less. And that's that. Let's keep moving. Did you see this? Huh. Something bothers me about this spot. What is it? Have we been this way? Something overlooked? Not a hundred percent sure. I just... It'll hold you. Famous last words. <sighs> Demons. Till death do us part. Practicing your vows? <laughs> the army swore their oaths a long time ago. What does the Empire seek here? Specimens. And we're stuck harvesting them. Specimens? Demons. So what's all this about the army and demons? <laughs> what do you think it is? Nice. I love guessing games. Turns out the Empire makes weapons out of them. Weapons? Yeah, I'm sure you've seen your share by now. Something not quite right with the Empire lately. It's not just lately. True. Maybe it's time I left. Really? What would you do if you left the army? Whatever I want. I was a mercenary once. Maybe I'll round up my men and hunt demons for cash? Well, that's uh, a heck of a plan. How's everyone? Good. How about you? Just chipper. What about the Empire strikes you as not quite right? The Emperor and New High Commander, for starters. Then there's that charmer of a Chancellor. I really can't stand that guy. Coming. Two arms! Here comes the big one! Right on cue. And it's got friends! Live layer by the second. Come on then! All of Chew. 
look out more than we bargained for. Excuse me? Forgive me. Too many stairs. I got a bad feeling about this. Stairs, they go on. Forever, they go on. On and on and on. He's gone. that. Let's keep moving. We can go across. Let's go. Right. Seems they don't want us to cross. Well then, well, here maybe we, we shouldn't. Not too shabby. Temper Temper. Oh, spacious. They're so gonna be a big nasty here. The bigger they are, the harder they fall.
Okay! Bingo! <sighs> that concludes our business here. Say, Commodore. Aranea. You said the Empire uses demons to make weapons? Listen, you've seen Magitek troopers, right? MTs. They're born from demons in a lab. Born from demons? Darkness is coming. If I were you, I'd watch my princely ass. A kingly ass. Will do. We'll need another key. The key question is, where do we look? Uh. Congrats. That concludes your training. You've still got a hard path ahead. But don't let anyone tell you how to walk it. <laughs> you may have been hired under false pretenses, but your assistance was invaluable, all the same. <laughs> tell me something I don't know. You can spare the pleasantries. Take care walking your path, Aranea. Oh, right. Thanks. I, I will. And I'll train you some more if our paths cross again. Oh, and before I forget, His Excellency instructed me to give you boys a ride back. If you need a lift, feel free to hop on. Well, glad that's over with. Noct, I've just received word from Cindy. And? We're to return to Lestalum. Her friend works as an engineer at the power plant. She'll take care of the mithril. Uh-huh. And that'll take care of our boat problem. Once you're rested and ready, I suggest we hasten back to Lestalum. Make sure you're prepared. Shame to say goodbye to such a nice fishing spot. Want to see what's biting before we bolt? Ugh. 
You're headed to Lestalem, right? I'll take you there, but no further. Got it. So, ready to ship out? You bet. Let's fly. Hold on tight, boys. <sighs> Look at that! A red ship. Rise and shine, Prince Charming. We're here. Sounds like a spot of troubles popped up at the power plant. Hmm, wish I could help, but I'm powerless to do anything I'm not ordered to. I'll leave the keeping of the peace to you. Of course. We got this. Good luck, boys. Loving that outfit, Noct. Why don't you wear one? Oh, well, that's the only one. And if anyone stands a fighting chance in there, it's you. Forget about fashion and go. We'll be waiting at the entrance. If any demons escape, we'll get them. <clears throat> Testing. Do you read me? Just wanted to thank you for offering to clear out those demons. That'll give me time to treat this mithril for you. There's a hunter who went in right ahead of you. I imagine there are too many for one to handle. But two of you should be fine. And a little heads up. We're getting some unstable readings from the generators inside. Too much power and the whole place could blow. So be quick. Will do. So, you my backup? I thought we were partners. Anyway, place is crawling with demons. Wait a sec. You sound familiar. Save the talk. We got hunting to do. Now, if we're done with the introductions, follow me.
great work in there. As promised, here's your mithril. And, uh, thank you for your hard work. Sure. Hey, big guy! So the hunter who went on ahead... The one and only. <laughs> How you been, fellas? Huh, not bad. Whoa, someone did a number on you, though. You should see the other guy. Anyway, I'm back. And better than ever. Knocked? Gladdy? I can't believe it! Hey, thanks for looking after her, Dustin. So, Gladdy, did you apologize to Noct for storming off like that? He made it up to me in there. The power plant? Oh, so you got your hands on some mithril. In that case, I'll go deliver it to Sid. You'll probably want to freshen up first anyway. Come and meet me in Kayam when you're ready. Your Highness, I'm glad you're safe and well. Tell Cindy to give me a call. Not every day you see a stellar stone like that. Nice find. You guys don't owe me a gill. Cindy offered to take me out as thanks. Not every day you see a stellar stone like that. Nice find. <laughs>